Here we are, 14th of May. So, here's Louise's room in hospital. And sarge has got um, the news. Anaheim are sending him to Industrial 7 for some uh, exo-atmospheric testing. And Louise uh, would worry um, for his welfare because space is like extra dangerous now that Neo Zeon are around. But luckily, Mikot and Takuya and Banaji are going to be along to help keep Saji out of harm's way. I mean, I'm not sure what they're going to do because they're school children who go to a technical college. But you know, there you go. Uh, Banaji gets an extra special that you be careful too on his way out. Is that what? And Louise and Saji say they both see a little bit of Setsuna in Banaji. And they're like, hey, speaking of Setsuna, what do you think he's up to? Who knows, he's a wild dude. Do you still do what he's Camille Vidan? It's a man's name, and he's a man. So here's Hibiki in the simulator. And uh, your target hit ratio is 97.2%. Doing great. Time, you're like you're doing real good. Time, yeah, you're on grade two simulator now, right? Uh, you're now better at mock com combat at least than the uh, vast majority of pilots out there. And all that he can say is it's not enough. And then Riddy makes a little speech about how all humans want to push their limits. And now he's gonna haul Hibiki off for some. Uh, Real dueling. Which leaves uh, Camille to wonder about what's really driving Hibiki. And Susanne's being weird. Susanne's uh, worried about a student, but a more immediate worry is, you know, the deterioration in Earth space relations. Uh, Katz uh, wonders if uh, someone like mass hypnotized everyone who started the riots, but Susanne's like, nobody can do that, that's ridiculous, what an outrageous thing to say. And then Camille thinks, okay, well, there's no one person who can, but like someone could use a Gaius to do that, but I don't think Zero would use it after, like, that way, after everything he's been through. And why would uh, Zero or anyone else want to sabotage, like, the humanity peace progress that way? That'd be weird. He'd be, uh, and he'd be less bothered for uh, warmongers in the two factions to just start shooting each other instead of, like, causing riots and shit. But Emma thinks uh, that many of the ADW colonies and the plots uh, are overtly or covertly sympathetic to Neo Zeon. And it's like, could it be that the war from the UCW and uh, the Rebirth War are still, like, going on? Who knows? Damn. And here's the Guza Tokunado, and they've got a representative from Anaheim Electronics, Alberto Vist. And here he is, he's a shit. Um, but... He's, he's in a hurry to get to Industrial 7, he's like, please make haste, and when Otto asks him um, why he should speed up the ship to get him there sooner, he's just like, because I asked, alright, jeez, just, is a shit. And so Otto is in the middle of reminding him that he is the one in uh, command of the ship. He's like, listen here, you little shit, I'm the captain. When suddenly, emergency message comes through from the preventers. Uh, uh, Yep, riots are kicking off in the side four colony for, um, called Ariel. And uh, that'd be the same one that uh, Relina, Dorian, and Marina Ismail are in the middle of giving their speech in. in. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Damn coordinator scum, always making trouble, he says, as they're mentioned in the same breath as literally everybody from space.
So these guys go from a peaceful symposium to lynch mob in about two seconds, talking about space noid freedom. And it catches Marina and Relina and uh, Shirin and and another dude all like their aides all by surprise. So these dudes are about to all kick off and get them and murder their ass. When Enduro's like, not on my watch. Shoots a gun into the air. He's like, now get out of the next Enduro Maxwell. He's like, that's right. So he came in, he's like, quite a shock here and there. All this bullshit's going. Yeah, and he says, I'm your, yeah, he's like, I'm your secret guard. But... Now that the VIPs are safe, Duo is wondering who's gonna get be attracted to these damn riots. Who's gonna take advantage of them? And this is scenario five, five, um, ten. Space disturbance in the colonies. Colony disturbance. Oh look at his damn terrorists! And look at it, colony aerial. Is terrorist and they're yelling at each other and like dang it they want to kidnap uh, Rolina and Mer uh, M Marina to use bargaining chips against those who dare speak of earth and space working together and Ariel seems like such a soft target to them let's see they're just gonna go over and get him let's go but then his hero he's like Rolina your enemies are my enemies I'll fight for your peace it's like, whoa, look at that, it's just a Leo, what the heck, let's just get it. And here's like, target locked, bad dudes, let's get them. And the SR point is, uh, defeat all enemies before they reach the aerial. We already covered that invaders aren't terrorists. Someone remind me to change heats as well. <laughs> A flag? Look who it is! Long time no see, hero! Got your back! Where's your Gundam? It's like, you know, busy. In the shop. So they look at each other and he's like, alright, let's go. So, they team back up and then we show up. Beautiful, we did it. It's like, hero and a flag? Hi. <gasps> Setsuna! It's like, I guess that's your being. You're still like, active and got the preventers working together and everyone's working in the shadows being good. So, yeah, helping try and stop troubles in the colony. Um, but, come the Meister, yeah that's right really, it's just your being, like from the movie, yeah, they stop terrorists, like this will do. The double O Riser, Setsuna FCA, he's like, wow, he's a hero from the movies, like, yeah, terrorists attack the colonies, don't let them do it, and Alberto's like, we don't have time for this shit. Saving those princesses is like, it's like, Alberto, we are stopping these terrorists, we are saving Valina and Marina, alright? They're incredibly important. They are a symbol of peace and unity between, like, all of humanity. So we're gonna take down terrorists, and then we'll get you to the Industrial Seven. All right? He's like, it's fine, but it's way more important. Let's go, hero. Let's work together and take out these jokers. Um. Yep, sleeves. They got the little sleeves on, so you can tell. What has Simpson got going on? Oh, also just fucking garbage. They're both just trash. Relina. Uh, yeah, Relina. I'll protect you. Bum 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 b
Nie jest on? To nie stop, ja. I said it was a sleeve one. I said, yeah, but it's got the sleeves. No problem. That dude can't make it. That dude can't make it, and that dude can't make it. We're good. Really hate really doesn't hate the space knights, he just wishes they would stop being there. <laughs> the unsolved will never die! Don't 
めろうわなぜ戦いという手段しか取れない Work, Emma. Equal damage to both foods. Wait until we do the big move in Rose Films. He's fucking cockpit of this pile of shit. And the seatbelt, the incredible seatbelt.
Nice work, we did it. And now the, now let's leave it to the Preventer Agency side and get on our way to Industrial 7. No, oh, this thing is fucking awful. Oh, but GM drive equipped units. Goddamn terrorists. Wait, that's Xeon and those things. What the hell? It's a new mobile suit. And here's Troa! who's like, yes, it's the serpent. It's like, wait, isn't that Troa? It's what? Wait, it's Troa. Wait, you know that guy Camille? Yeah, it's Troa Barton. He worked with Zexis. He piloted the colony Gundam. He's a good boy. What is it, hero? I'll fight him. Let's go beat up them dudes then. And Otto doesn't like that these guys are attacking us more than the colonies, but he's not going to run away. He's like, it's Neo Zero to go. He's like, idiot, yeah, yeah, let's fucking go. Troa, let's go, hero. I can't even hit cats. Like, just fuck off. You're not gonna do no revolutions if you can't even shoot cats. Boys are so slow. I hate it. Setsuna, since humanity will not stop this conflict, we will continue to fight until they realize their mistakes. That is our mission. Celestial Beings' mission. Also, a big sword. Blammo. Bottom. Hit that idiot. He's fucking dead now. Kunai. 
you get double money and double PP? What a beautiful world to live in. Big PP. That's what I. Mm, yeah, that's what I love. <laughs> love big PP. And she's like, getting the first attack. <laughs> Regret. I'm not baiting nobody. Definitely not baiting the PP. <laughs> Okay, it's defeat the serpent is the the victory condition. But everybody wants to talk to him, so you know what? Just no support. That's fine. So, uh, it's, uh, Camille, I don't feel any malice coming from him. That means, and then Camille, and then try internally, Camille, did you figure out my plan? I don't know, dude, your plan's probably stupid. You're a, you're a wing boy. Now he's easier to hit for everybody. But also he's gonna die in the next attack and like everybody's got shit to talk to say to him. Look at that boy with his double minigun, what a powerful boy! Mega particle cannon, fire. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. Everyone takes less damage in his command aura because Otto's so uh, good. I mean, I don't really want to go. Uh, if I kill him, he won't get the support, so I've got to. Because if I don't, I will die to the serpent. Gotcha! Oh, crap! It happened! Duh. He's an innovator. Gets the big regen. Emma. She's got Hella Prevail, she's got a shield, and she's gonna be next to people for assisting anyway, because that's a thing like, she's really good at. That attack won't get me 
I'm a good boy. Let's try, let's try the dodge. Um, try a button. Who's your backer? If you don't plan on answering, I'll just fight the Barton Foundation directly. Alright, said Sina, calm down. Oh, excellent work. Excellent work, said Sina. Excellent fucking work, dude. The good shit right there. Said Sina, if say, I'm dead. That's that. Is my continue? Hmm. From some time ago. Yeah, just gotta do that again. Gotta do that again. They just gave me a unit that I can't upgrade that sucks and then killed it when it went, like on the off like, you know, really low chance, so that's how it goes sometimes. Get up, ready. guys then go again on that dude That 
guy. You did it, nice work. Leave it to the preventer agents. These guys, oh, who's that dude? He's just a throw a button. Let's get him. You let this stage take an extra, you know, like 10 minutes to do. Because they gave me a unit that sucks. And then blew it up. Hey, now I don't have to attack him with Setsuna or Camille. Get just straight onto Hibiki and Hero. Gotcha. You don't know, dude. He's too strong. And then Hibiki, this guy, he's a Gundam pilot, all right. And then try an inexperienced soldier shouldn't step onto the battlefield. You'll only find sorrow. I would have drowned in fear a long time ago if I called it quits after words like those. All right, Hibiki, calm down. Drowned in sorrow, all right. Chill out. Need to, to lay off the courage here for a second. Oh, too powerful for his barrier. Dumped on him. Guys, if he's some kind of veteran when he looks like Toe, he's not a veteran. He's definitely not a veteran. He's extremely new to the robot business. But he's been through some shit. そう簡単にやらせはしない。なぜ、こうも簡単に。今だ。走る。しかし、ごめん。さっさと離れていれば助かったのに。前に出てかなんて、そんなに死にたいのかよ。when his mother died in an accident, he moved to Alaska to live with his dad and sister, and his dad was a beast hunter, a dimensional beast hunter. And where weird bears and shit come from other dimensions, you gotta fight them, they're weird and strong, and he's taken down a dimensional grizzly.
Yeah, just wait till you see the fucking cockpit. I'll do a big move with him. You know, like next turn, you'll see it. And you go, that's fucking. Oh, I'm going, oh, yeah, it is. What is this charade, Troa? These are all my own actions. Fine, then I'll defeat you. These are the serious wing boys, I hate them. Cho and Hero have been different characters all the time. I mean, they even look different. I mean, look, one's got hair that completely covers one side of his face, and the other one's just a little fella. Shit out of that, man. Excellent seat belt. Did it, we got him. So he leaves, and apparently, this is his way of 
send in a message. But we need to get the hell out of here. Message? Yeah. Message or two. Get out of here. Let's go. You leaving? He's like, yeah, I'm out. I've got stuff to do. Bye. So he sits and leaves. And there's Duo hanging out. Uh, Duo says uh, um, about how everybody died wild changing personality, but the girls are safe. Safe? They're safe now. Yeah, and here it says that it's crazy, everybody would just went wild. Uh, Hero um, wants to believe that it's not Zero's doing, and for uh, Hibiki and Riddy's benefit, he explains again how he's got the power to how the former Emperor Lampa Rouge uh, had the power to control others, the the Gaius. And if it's not him, then it's anybody guess anybody's guess who's actually doing like getting everybody all riled up. But there's no way to know right now. But what Duo doesn't know... No, okay, no, what he does know is that Troa wasn't serious about his mission to slow us down, even if whoever's paying him, uh, it was. Whoever it is, um... ...want us to not get to our destination on time, or maybe they don't want our guest... ...to arrive at all, to Industrial 7. Yeah, he mentions there the Anaheim, uh... ...friggin' college colony. Maybe they don't want our guest to get there. 